All right, it is Sleep Awareness Week, so now's the time to take another look at how to maximize your beauty rest. One of the ways to do that is to let your pet share your bed with you, just like <laughs> I do. This is a photo of me with my dog, Lilo, and it's one of my favorite things is to sleep with her. She's I so know. sweet. All right, here to talk about the many benefits of co-sleeping with your pet is Josie Miller, a volunteer at the Best Friends Animal Society. And Josie, who do we have here? This is Joey. I think he's your new biggest fan. He's just hanging. <laughs> on your every word. Um, Joey is up for adoption through the Best Friends Animal Society Life Saving Center, which is down in Soho at 307 West Broadway. He's one of many very cuddly, snuggly pets we have down there, dogs and cats alike. Um, but, you know, he's named for Joey and Friends. He was Monica and Chandler was his oh, litter. But, okay. um, but you know, my, my son pointed out that a baby kangaroo is also Joey. And while you could probably put him in your pocket like a baby kangaroo right now, he's going to get real big yeah. someday. So in this one. case, you're going to want to be ready for a big dog up to about 50 pounds. Oh my goodness, he's yes. so cute. He's so All cute, right? right? Let's talk about sleeping with your pets to improve oh, your sleep. Oh, he's got fall asleep right here. <laughs> and your health. <laughs> like, what are some of the yeah. benefits of sleeping with your pet? There are many benefits to co-sleeping mm -hmm. with a pet. It can help fight depression and loneliness mm. and insomnia. It can improve the quality of your sleep from, you know, that boost of oxytocin that you get from mm -hmm. sleeping with your dog, that warm, fuzzy feeling, which in this case is kind of literal and figurative. <laughs> um, you know, but it's great to have that oxytocin boost. That's that love hormone that just makes you feel great and safe and protected. Lynn backstage was saying that when she sleeps with her, when she's uh, dog sitting, she feels very safe when she's sleeping with the dog. I know. With me, Lilo's small, yeah. so I actually put her bed in my bed, and yes, just like I'm right. sleeping, and my hand is just on her. I mean, yeah. that just makes him feel so good. All right, what are some tips, let's say, to encourage your pet to sleep? with you. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, if you're not sure if your dog or cat likes it, and of course they right. have to enjoy the co-sleeping also, you could do a test drive, watch TV together and see how they respond to your bed environment. Um, but just like teaching them any trick, you could give them treats to lure them onto your bed. You could even leave some treats on the bed so that they can find them when you're not home so that it becomes a pleasant situ um, association, right. like a very positive association. All right. Not all pets want to share the bed. How can you tell if your pet is gonna like that. Yeah, you have to kind of watch their body language. Yeah. With dogs, you know, they might appear restless, like they can't seem to get comfortable. Um, a cat might pin their ears down, and either one dog or cat might just leave. And um, and if they're trying to leave, mm -hmm. like like he is right now, <laughs> you should really let them. Because <laughs> um, you should really never force your dog or cat to do anything Aww. they don't know. I love you so much. <laughs> um, but with a younger dog or an older dog or cat, um, you'll want to make sure they can come and go safely. If they want to leave, yeah. maybe give them those little stairs um, yes. to make sure that it's easy for them to come and go with no issues. Yeah, I have two sets of stairs yes. up to the couch and up to the bed. Perfect, because so, you said that your dog's yeah, so little. Yeah, a little right? small. Yeah. All right, tell us about Best Friends Animal Society. Oh, I love Best Friends. <laughs> As you can probably tell, Best Friends Animal Society is an animal we welfare organization, a leading wel animal welfare organization that is really fighting to end the killing of dogs and cats in shelters across America by the year. 2025. That is our goal. Um, and we have a wonderful life-saving center, which is still pretty newish, mm -hmm. down in Soho, that we welcome visitors from 12 to 6 every day to come meet the dogs and cats. We have so many cuddly, snuggly, co-sleepable, you know, possibly <laughs> co-sleepable animals uh, ready to, you know, meet their new forever family. But you can adopt, you can foster, as I have, you can volunteer. There are so oh. many opportunities to get involved, and we really could use the help. So come visit us. <laughs> uh, well, I love I love your organization. Every thank time we you. work with you, you're amazing. Thank so you. So Josie, thank you, and Joey, I'm sure you're going to find a new home. <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't he do great? Yes, he did really well. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for sharing all the tips, and we'll be right back.